In this video, we are going to be going over how to demote a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller using PowerShell. So let's discuss the steps that we will take. First, we will actually demote the domain controller. After that, we will remove the server from the domain. And we have uh, then some cleanup to do. We will remove the computer object from Active Directory. We will also remove the object from the site that it is in, in order to really clean everything up. And uh, the last thing we will do is actually delete the VM from the host and also delete its uh, hard disk drive. Because when uh, you delete in Hyper-V a virtual machine, the hard disk will not be deleted, you have to do it uh, manually. So then let's actually start. And since my domain controller is a server core domain controller, I have the PowerShell commands here. And the actual demotion is going to be done using PowerShell remoting. So let's remote into DC03, which is the domain controller I will be demoting. And uh, we have to run the uninstalled uh, ADDS domain controller command and specify uh, these two parameters. Nothing more. The only thing we have to enter uh, after we run the command is the local administrator password. And here you go, the prompt for the password. And from here on, the uh, demotion will start normally, as if uh, it was done uh, locally. And in a couple of minutes, the server will automatically restart. Of course, you can use this command directly on the server that you will be demoting. But where would the fun be if everything was run locally? So I'll come back after the demotion is uh, done. So the demotion is done and now I logged on locally on the server to also remove it from the domain entirely. And the command is this one, remove computer. And after the removal, the server will automatically restart, even though I am logged on. So let's run the command. And the server restarted very quickly. I will wait about one minute and then I will continue to clean up Active Directory. Now I want to also uh, actually delete the server from the domain as an object because if uh, I were to run only the getAdComputer command, you would see that this server still exists in Active Directory, but it is disabled. So I want to really remove it. And uh, this is the command I will use. First, I will get the computer object and then I will remove it from the domain. And this has been done. And one more cleanup uh, to do uh, as far as Active Directory is concerned is to also remove the server uh, as a site server. And what I mean is this, if you look, uh, this server is still a part of the default first site, even though it doesn't have any connection. So I want to also clean this up. And uh, to do this, first we have to navigate in PowerShell to the Active Directory provider, and then actually remove uh, this server. So you see this long string, this is the path to this uh, server in the site. You can modify according to your domain name and server name. And uh, after you run it, you can check by refreshing the server's node that it's gone. So the last thing now left to do is to actually remove the virtual machine. Right now I'm on my host and let's also remove the virtual machine. So we turn it off. We delete it. 
and uh, so we don't waste space also we have to mm, delete its vhdx file and that's it we have successfully demoted our domain controller thanks a lot for watching i hope this video was useful for you please like if it was also consider subscribing if you're not subscribed and i'll see you in the next video